about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. That's the end of it, my dear. That devil leaves you forever. Never to return. Never to return. Listen. I want you to know that Jesus heals here. We have a track record. By the grace and the mercies of God. I'm going to minister to you very quickly. So that we can speak specifically. Please make your way to the front. Just organize yourself. And um, bring the lady. Where's the lady under the anointing? case here yeah, i know eh? look at let me just calm down i'm seeing something very funny and interesting here watch this this woman i'm looking at her and i'm seeing a corpse i'm seeing somebody they have already buried you see her this woman is almost quarter to go i mean it's not clear there but there's almost nothing here bones watch this um the spirit that wants to kill this woman is in her son. This boy is standing. It's not like it's the boy that wants to kill her. So they went to consult with somebody. And they went to consult with somebody. This person is like a herbalist. And he told them this is the boy that wants to kill the madam. He got it wrong because his understanding is limited. It's not like the boy wants to kill her. But the spirit at work in him is what is tying her. Both of them. This is the spirit of death. She would have died on the 22nd of this month. 22nd. She would have buried her. It would have been over. She would have stopped talking from 19th and died on the 22nd. God, you are higher than any other I can say He's awesome in power Come on, sing it like victorious people I got your voice and say I got his greater hey. I got his stronger Father, in the name of Jesus, I set this boy free from witchcraft by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause that spirit that is responsible for tormenting Mama, She looks like a full and human. She understands how that. Father, in the name of Jesus, perfect her. I curse this spirit. I take her out of these dungeons of death. Right now. belong
belongs to you All the glory belongs to you Oh God All the glory belongs to you All the glory belongs to you Oh God Hallelujah The last and greatest session of this meeting is where I begin to prophesy that's where people receive the biggest breakthroughs and testimonies we may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but I want you to know that God is going to bless you Peter Adola is going to come up and for the next 10 minutes or so he's going to lead us through a dimension of worship and praise unto God and the moment that happens I will come back and we'll take up the last session with prophecy and then we'll take a few announcements we are done. Everybody give Jesus praise as we celebrate him. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Worship you, Jesus. We celebrate you, Jesus. Which one? Which are the pianos? This one. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we've come to let you know. Father, we love you. Oh. Father, we love you. And we come to let you know You are the most I God Father, we worship you You are the most I God Father, we worship you You are the most I God Father, you. Father, we love you. Oh. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. And we're here to let you know. You are the most I God. Join me, say, Father. Father, we worship you. You are the most I God. Father, we worship. Say, Father, we worship you. You are the most I God. Father, we worship. Father, we worship you. Oh, you are the most I God. Father, we worship you. Say to the Lord, you are the most. 
without your shame. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. Church say I'm lost without you now. Say I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. Let the rain of your presence fall Say it. I'm lost without you. Cover us with your grace, Jesus. <laughs> say I'm lost without you. Let the rain. Your presence, oh God. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. I'm lost without you. We give you all the glory and the honor and adoration to your holy name. Yes, I'm lost without your name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Break every chain, say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Woo! Say it. Break every chain. Say break every chain. 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 Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Come on, say, break every chain, break every chain, every chain, every chain. I see the chains are broken now. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. Say it. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every. Say break every chain. Say. Oh ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. Break every chain.
just begin to bless the name of your Father. seated here watching are the ones who will be doing this yeah and then you will tell them that this is how you were trained and you will tell them you were trained well the flesh can be tamed you can tame the flesh to a point that the spirit of God this is this is not it's not about the issue of struggling just living there it's okay hallelujah Praise the Lord. We have a few minutes and then we're done. I salute everyone. We'll have the last prayer session and then I'll just prophesy and speak over our lives. So can we all rise inside and outside? I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne I will worship him and give a praise to him alone he who was and is and is to come I will sing before his throne You're holy, holy, yes, you are holy, holy, hallelujah, mighty one, Psalm 66 verse 3, please, our last prayer session, I'm going to be praying. And we are going to be making decrees and commanding our lives and destinies. He told Job, has thou commanded thy money? Or are you just allowing it to happen? Believers have authority. But we must put the authority to use. And then we compel these powers to submit. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. He says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. I want you to believe in the prayer session we're about to have right now. Very brief, but very impactful. And I want you to pray and pray like your heart depends on it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when Moses began to advocate the release of the nation of Israel, God's covenant people, into their promised land. When the pressure got so much, Pharaoh negotiated. He said, alright, let we have a deal. The men can go, leave the women and the children. Leave the factors that represent the continuity of that race. The women and the children. Let the men go. Because he knew they would perish. And Moses said, no way. We're going with our wives, our children, our cattle, and everything. So we're going to pray. The Bible says, Now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And it says God had blessed him in all things. Not some things. All things. It's, it's possible for you to experience breakthrough and advancement in one area of your life. But then you are tied in another area. Second Kings chapter 5 tells us about a man who was the captain of the Syrian army. The Bible says he was a great man. He did exploits, fought valiantly, but he was leprous. So we want to address those buts, those situations in our lives. Yes, you have done well, you are anointed. Yes, this and that, but there are certain areas. It must be total victory. Rise up on your feet. I want you to shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. 
Oh, come on, Koinonia. Say in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I come against every power. That attempts to fight my destiny. In the name of Jesus. I declare release. Of every other area of my life. That is under attack. And I declare. This morning. That it is my time for breakthrough. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice. Come on, pray, 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 people of God. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Mention the areas in your life that are pending, that need the breakthrough hand of God. Mention those areas specifically. Please lift your voice and pray. Take this session seriously. We're almost done. Rapakato proso so predegen de bela de bosh embrata kata balata poko soto pregate. Are you praying in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Pray for every area of your life that is yet to experience breakthrough. Decree and declare that after this vigil, you will begin to experience breakthrough in that area. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we ward off the powers of hell standing against our lives and destinies. Are you praying? Are you praying? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was you praying when Moses finally convinced Pharaoh to release them? Watch this as they released them while they were going. The Bible says they met a Red Sea, so they had left Egypt, but there was a Red Sea in front of them. Are we together now? And the Egyptians were back to capture them, and they began to cry. And in Exodus chapter 14, Moses said, stand still. Stand still. He says, the Egyptians you see today. Oh, you may have seen them for 430 years. But today, the Egyptians you see today. He says that you will not see them. And then he said, Moses. Verse 15, now Moses was crying before God. And he said, why will you cry? Tell the people to move forward make advancement listen this prayer we're going to pray is important because many of us this prayer will supply courage hear me it's time to move forward it's time to move forward in business it's time to move forward in your career are you hearing what i'm saying you are going to pray and say lord everything keeping me down maybe it's the failure of the past maybe it's the lies of satan he has lied to you maybe you are falling again you entered a relationship, it did not work. You have refused to enter another one to get married. You did business and it did not work. And the devil is stopping you from moving forward. You, you tried to give birth and you had a miscarriage. But right now, he said, tell the people to move forward. The signs do not go before you, they follow you. When you take the step of faith, God is ministering to someone. It's time to get back. The anointing is still there where you fell is where you will rise and excel the anointing is still there lift your voice and prophesy i'm moving forward go ahead and pray pray in my ministry i'm moving forward i refuse to allow challenges and limitations stop me inside and outside i'm moving forward in every area of my life you wanted to start a building project a challenge came and you have refused to move forward you tried to get admission you tried once twice it didn't work listen it says tell the people to move forward koinonia i announced to you an anointing by an encounter with power is upon your life to begin to move forward now prophesy lord i'm moving forward i break those barriers i refuse to see challenges 
that project is doable the project is doable the marriage is doable come on pray now the ministry can rise it's achievable it's achievable it's achievable I may have been thrown down once but it is achievable there is still an anointing hallelujah hallelujah my bible says there is hope for a tree even though it be cut down samson was a mighty man of power but for some reason he was anointed to be the judge over israel and for some reasons he fell into the trap of a woman called delilah and that trap costed him his eyes they plucked out his eyes and they shaved him you would have thought that would be the end of samson once a giant the one who threatened the philistines the one who tore a lion and brought honey out of it the one who removed a city gate god is ministering to some people here you have tasted power and honor but something happened somewhere and brought you down but tonight god is speaking to you that there is hope for a tree you can rise again when they took samson and they took him to the temple and they were mocking him before our god he prayed a prayer he prayed a prayer of restoration that lord this one last time let this anointing come upon me and the bible says he pushed he killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime can i tell you something you should know the difference between failure as an event and failure as a person. We live in a generation where every time you fail, there are so many people coming to prove to you, justifying their prophecies. Are you getting me now? You start a business or a company, it fails and everybody tells you, you see. You start a ministry genuinely called by God no growth there is failure and people tell you stop wasting your time a gentleman gets up and says i'm going to get married and no finances no resources no job and everybody tells him you'll be a failure or maybe a student you went to the board and you saw that you're on probation let me announce to you tonight that it is never over until you choose to give up. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I won't give up. No, I won't give up. I'll keep pressing on till my answer comes. I won't give up. Lord, I won't give up. I'll keep holding on my change comes i will never forget our first crusade our first crusade in joss you would have rated it maybe a failed crusade because they were not people they were not much we saw miracles we saw mighty things but the people were few we were stranded listen a crusade would happen the crusade was to start by 5 30 as about as at three o'clock the car was still spoiled. We're still on our way going. I'll never forget. The driver tried and tried and tried. We didn't even have enough money. We just had enough money to take us there. How we were going to survive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Listen. When you see a successful man, don't just celebrate the stories. Ask the person for the pains and the scars successful people are those who have forced any closed door to open they are not those who do not have challenges are you getting the point now i will never forget that crusade was powerful immediately after the crusade the sound guys were standing One hundred and fifty thousand were to pay them it looks like child's play now but then it meant a lot because even if everybody in the ministry then came together would not be able to solve it but we knew that God sent us. I knew what God had told me. 
a great crusade. The first crusade we did not even have, we could not rent video cameras. I'll never forget the humiliation that I went through from the sound people. It was, it was such a bitter humiliation. Those people frustrated my life literally because I could not afford it. I'll never forget one doctor in chemistry department on hearing on this situation, she took 5,000 and sold it as a seed. It was a disaster. I would have easily given up and said, that's it, Lord, no ministry again. Imagine the millions of lives within this country and around the world who have been blessed by this ministry. If I had given up at that point, God is speaking to someone. Peter tried to catch fish all night. Nothing happened. He would have packed up. Successful people are those who are audacious. Don't mind the mediocre around your journey to success. They will always wait there to make you feel like you're a failure. They will always make to claim their prophecy is self-fulfilling. When you succeed, I guarantee you, every one of them will change their reports about you. Nobody has time to celebrate you on your way to success. But when you arrive, the worst that can happen is that you can be criticized. But no man can deny that this is the finger of God. I remember Dr. Paul Enenche, 99, right? When they went to Abuja, him, his wife, and two pastors were staying in one small room. Not by will. That was all they could afford. You would have called them failures. Do you know what it means for a man married with his wife and you cannot afford a house? You carry your wife and two pastors who are staying in the same room. But that's what it's been called today. Listen. I want you to know right now we are going to pray. You are going to challenge your fears and challenge your limitations. Those voices that have spoken to you and made you feel that you cannot become anything. They may be the voices of good people. They may be the voices of sincere people. But I come to prove them wrong. Lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. Everyone shout it in the name of Jesus. I'm determined to succeed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, my failures of yesterday will not stop me from achieving the breakthroughs of tomorrow. I receive courage and fresh grace to face this mountain and to surmount it. Lift your voice and pray. Grace, oh God. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. No weeping and just for a night. Joy comes with the morning. No weeping and just for a night. The Lord is speaking to you. Joy comes with the morning. You didn't get the admission, but it does not mean it cannot be gotten. The marriage didn't work out. The travel abroad did not work out. It does not mean you cannot travel. The business did not work out. It does not mean you are a failure. You may not have money now. You may not have connection now. Nobody may recognize your anointing. But keep pressing. Keep pressing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying. You are going to pray and cry for supernatural persistence and endurance. Listen, let me tell you. You can ask every one of the ministers here, Barak who ministered, and Peter Adole, Manasseh, Pastor Alpha, ask all of them. They will tell you stories and episodes of endurance. Listen, there was a time in my life I was tightening and I was giving, nothing was happening. Are you getting what I'm saying? Any man that just tells you it just happened like that lied to you, I'm telling you. There are seasons in your life where it looks like your heavens are closed although they are not closed. Are you getting what I'm saying? Nothing like a result is happening. You are planting, bearing precious seeds. But nothing is happening. As a man of God, you know the anointing upon your life. 
while you are laboring in the spirit nobody is recognizing your grace to invest in it you can be a great worshiper and for many years you may be moving around crying for just one open door but the doors may not open listen to me you can be a lady pretty and virtuous you've done everything you need to do in your strength sincerely speaking you've done everything you know a woman should do to be prepared for marriage before God and men everyone knows truly you are prepared for marriage all the demons to be casted have been casted out but no man is coming and vice versa for a man you may graduate with a great degree you have served, you've even complimented on your degrees. Submitted CVs. Let me tell you something. In every man's life, there are seasons of persistence and endurance. I want you to know this. Don't let any man fool you. God is a God of speed, not rush. God does not rush. He brings speed, not rush. There are seasons where you are proven. The Bible says John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance. There is something called a man's season of appearance. You can manifest before your season of appearance and keep struggling trying to find relevance. Years ago, he may remember, we went for a meeting in, in Kaduna, a very powerful meeting. And when we went there, there was a man of God who was supposedly a bishop. There was nothing bishop about him. When you launch yourself without your season of appearance, the man was there and after the meeting, I, I could not even figure one person who came to say, Kai, man of God, you bless me. The bishop was there moving around, no friend, no car, no nothing. We went to the restaurant, he just sat down somewhere and was just taking his powerhouse. Nobody was even encouraging him. And I said in my mind, Lord, if this is how it means to be a bishop, I don't want. This honor, when God blesses you, he brings honor with it. When you launch yourself, you will keep floating, looking for relevance. I'm speaking to many of us here. We are at the verge of breakthroughs. Keep holding on. There are times you don't need to do anything new. You just need to keep doing what you are doing. Because what you are doing is not wrong. If a baby, we have a few babies around here. If a baby suddenly decides to take one drum of breast milk, that baby will not suddenly get up and become an adult because he took breast milk. If an old man starves himself to die, he will not suddenly become young because there was no food. Are you getting what I'm saying? And Jesus grew. He didn't become. He didn't jump. And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature. And in favor with God and with men. Life is in dimensions. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And there are times in your life you will need to wait. Listen. You may be a man of God. Anointed. It is true that God has spoken to you about ministry. But for now all you will be doing is cleaning tables. Be faithful. You must receive grace for endurance. Because let me tell you. Hope defers makes the heart weary. The heart of man is, is, is very fragile. The moment you wait after a season of practicing kingdom principles and you don't see results, naturally speaking, naturally speaking, fatigue will come in. You're going to lift your voice. Are you still tired? We're rounding up. This is a very important prayer point. Lift your voice and say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I receive grace. For endurance. I receive grace. For persistence. I receive grace. For resilience. I will wait. I will be patient. Until my season of appearance. Lift your voice and pray. Patience oh God. If you turn aside. In a day of battle. It says your strength is small. Lift your voice and pray. Lekata pa kara bodosh, ombra pata kata la bosh. Lekata kata bara la bosh, lekata prosko zoto prosh, embrotosko pritevich. 
Persistence, persistence, endurance in prayer, endurance in obedience. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. The Bible tells us that a virgin called Mary was just minding her business one day. Suddenly an angel appears to her. Listen. Appears to her with a prophetic message. Thou art highly favored. Blessed are you among women. And she wondered what salutation this was. And the angel began to tell her that she was going to carry a baby. And she said, how shall these things be? I know not a man. Just like God is telling you. The same you who is standing. One day you will own your television station. And the world will be watching you. And you look around and say, how shall these things be? And he said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Watch this. The moment God told Mary because her life at that time was an unusual life and then the angel recommended her to Elizabeth. Somebody who was carrying the same mystery and the same vision. You will never make it in life if you are the only one who looks like you. There must be people around your life that can identify no matter how mystical the instructions are. There must be somebody around your life that can say, although this looks strange, I see that the hand of God is upon it. Loneliness in destiny has killed many people. They are carrying visions. They, they have no other shoulder to lean on. And Mary went to Elizabeth. Every other woman would have said, you are very stupid. Tell us the rabbi you slept with that you are lying that a spirit got you pregnant. But she went to a woman who had been barren for a long time. So, she's in a position that can identify with these kinds of supernatural things watch this and the bible says as soon as elizabeth mary and elizabeth saw the babies the destinies in their wombs leapt you need people around your life that can look at you and say that 300 million naira project is doable how much do you have 10 naira say yes I was once like that you need people in your life that can be crazy enough and you say sir i'm trusting god for a house or a car by the end of the year how much do you have two thousand he said you are even better than me when i was about to buy the car i had 500 naira suddenly you know you are not alone there is nothing as encouraging as finding a madman like you somebody who can agree with you and say it is doable it's a dangerous thing for a man of God dangerous thing for a businessman dangerous thing for a destiny shaker to be around people who do not have any experience that can engineer faith in you are you getting what I'm saying that you come and say my sister I want to share with you something don't be afraid though say what is it Say, do you know I don't have a womb? And the lady will not say, ah, what is all that? Say, Abba, your case is a simple case. There was a woman like that. It's not just that she didn't have a womb. In fact, her own was a, a bad case, but she had twins. You see that? That's Elizabeth. You need to call for Elizabeth to your life because many of us are about giving up on visions that are of God, but there are no motivators. There are no people to tell you it is doable. Who said you can't start a bank? Everybody say bank. What nonsense are you talking about? Somebody tells you you can do it. You can do it. You can start the bank. You pray them into your life. Are you getting me? There are ladies right now. This is August. But you heard from God genuinely. And you are trusting God to be settled by December. You, if you meet a wrong person. The person will look at you and say. I have what nonsense how many months will it take for traditional marriage how many months will it take to raise offering uh, sorry to raise 
the uh, raise the money for the marriage how long will it take do you know how much wedding gown is do you know how much it means to rent a house do you have 1.5 million all those devilish things you need to throw those people away and meet somebody who tells you i i met my guy in october we married by december 15th it is possible lift your voice and say in the name of jesus i call forth to my life the elizabeths of my destiny say after me in the name of jesus i call into my life my destiny motivators may they come to encourage me in the name of jesus lift your voice and pray we call for the elizabeths we call for the elizabeths we call for the elizabeths men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion men and women of similar vision men and women of similar passion hallelujah lift your hands everybody as I prophesy to us please I want you to receive it receive it with all your heart and receive it with a loud shout of amen the Lord gave me a revelation on the creative power of prophecy and we've had all kinds of humbling testimonies he said son of man can these bones live and he said only down the west then he said prophesy speak to these bones speak to these situations as far as I am concerned there is nothing called impossible not when God steps in it is impossible when there are men but not when God steps in I pray for you right now in the name that is above all names that every door that before now has been closed over your life and your destiny by the anointing of the Holy Spirit return to find that door open now I prophesy it upon you return to find that door open in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life where your strength is limited you have done everything you know to do I'm declaring upon you right now let a fresh anointing take you through the remaining part of the journey in the name of Jesus Christ where your human strength has stopped may an anointing come and pick you up in the name of Jesus Christ when Jesus was about to start his ministry a voice spoke no matter how anointed you are it will take somebody to announce you please listen I show you a mystery no matter how anointed you are a midwife although she's a midwife she won't deliver a baby by herself when it is time for her to deliver she will need other midwives no man can bless himself no man can endorse himself are you hearing what i'm saying a voice had to be spoke out had to speak from heaven and say this is my beloved son and he commanded the world to hear him lift your hands let me speak over your destiny your destiny remains grounded until a voice can speak in the realm of the spirit a simple prophetic word but it's a profound law i'm praying for you right now by the anointing of the holy spirit everything that has covered your glory everything that has covered your your gift and your potential from being seen desired and celebrated i speak right now is your time for celebration i speak right now is your time for celebration I speak it to you right now it's your time for recognition it's time for your gift to be noted it's time for men to pay attention to what you carry in the name of Jesus Christ and I call for the helpers of destiny the wine pressers the bakers those who will speak to the king on your behalf I call them into your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare upon you that all the years that the canker worm has eaten 
all the years the palmer worm has eaten what you think is foregone what you think is a waste i'm prophesying to you right now may there be double restoration may there be double restoration double restoration i pray for every family represented here in the name that is above all names not only will you receive visitation i release visitation to families 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 in the name of jesus let there be visitations may the lord wipe the tears of families in the name of jesus christ every project you want to embark on these hands that are lifted i put an anointing upon it and i force it to prosper in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ everything your hand embarks upon in the name that is above all names may you prosper in it in the name of jesus christ i speak over your finances listen when you are not empowered financially you will be limited in many ways there's no long story about it hallelujah cry yet say in zechariah 1 17 a thus saith the lord my city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad and i will yet comfort zion it takes finances to fund your assignment it takes finances for you to move forward lift your hands i pray for you in the name of jesus every power limiting your finances every power limiting you from obeying the principles that bring increase i set you free from it right now in the name of jesus christ every spirit of greed that keeps you in poverty and penury i set you free from it right now in the name of jesus i'm prophesying upon your life by the mystery of divine supply in the name of jesus may god send into your life people opportunities and resources in the name of jesus christ i pray for your spiritual life after spending time praying and waiting for eight hours in a vigil in the name of jesus let fresh fire come upon your spiritual life fresh fire come upon your spiritual life many of you will return back and you'll begin to see dimensions you never walked in suddenly activated in your life in the name of jesus christ i pray for every church and every ministry here grace to step into the next level of impact grace to step into the next level of impact in the name of jesus christ i release a breakthrough anointing upon every endeavor of your life beginning from this morning let it begin to speak in the name of jesus christ lift your hands and worship the lord give him praise hallelujah hallelujah let's take the following announcement and we're out of this place we thank the lord for strength for grace to stretch it through now please listen carefully i want to announce to us that next week is going to be a very special program here is the practicum of our school of ministry students hallelujah i think you should celebrate them if you don't know what it's all about I want you to come that means our students will be handling the service everything from beginning to end will just be here supervising and assessing them um, you will be mightily blessed please invite all your friends and everyone to come around time is 6 p.m. exceptional voice training school a voice training school belonging to um, one of our people David Dam where is he where's David Dam okay that's his voice training school and um, it's only for singers and vocalists the admission form is 200 naira the school fees for admitted singers is 4,000 only interested persons should meet him immediately after the service believe me he's a fabulous vocalist and um, he's done a lot in the area of um, vocal proficiency and he's ready to invest and pour into many people so make sure you are part of it project 10,000 is still on please be part of it if you are not there's free but limited um, bus transport immediately after the service 
those going to Shika and Congo, please wait at the projector stand outside. You can book for your counseling. Sorry, I was not around last week for counseling. But you can book right after the service for your counseling. Be, remem be reminded that all bookings stop on Sunday, 6 p.m. And then messages will be sent to those who are booked. Please, if you wait till 9 o'clock or 9.30 and you don't get an SMS, you can call the protocol line. The ushering department, um, Commoda Joseph DK, should please meet the ushers to collect his school ID card. If you're here, meet the ushers for your ID card. And then this goes to everyone who has misplaced any item in the course of the service. Please, you meet the ushers. The Conference of Nigerian Christian Engineering Students Concerts tagged engineering in all aspects of life is holding a program today the 8th of august time is 9 a.m the venue is the new engineering lecture theater faculty of engineering featuring academic academia engineering in industry leadership entrepreneurship um ministers will be engineer abdul malik courage professor ibadun i'll be ministering there too and engineer emmanuel obeka so you're invited, especially for those who um, are engineers or engineering students. The prayer department invites the house for her prayer meeting at Rema Chapel on Tuesday by 4 p.m. Hallelujah. Please take note of our official lines. You can use them. Department of Protocol and Logistics, they have two lines. And then um, the media department, you can also have their details if you do not have this is free you can pick up one with the ushers hallelujah i want you with an ovation to celebrate those who are worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time here please make your way to the front everyone who is worshiping with us for the first time koinonia keep clapping we're almost done do this for them god bless you god bless you god bless you celebrate them please make your way to the front no matter how far we want to pray for you and bless you the Lord brought you by his spirit. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you so much for coming. The Lord brought you by his spirit to lift you. We honor you and we thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Wow. Let's celebrate our mommy, Mrs. Ono. God bless you, ma. Just wanted her. Hallelujah. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you for all the people who are here. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming and worshiping with us. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here every Fridays, and this was a special vigil, a special program. I know that your life will never be the same in the name of Jesus. We have a prayer and a blessing for you, and we want you to receive it with all your heart in Jesus' name. Stretch your hands, saints of God, and let's prophesy over their lives. We speak over your life that is from glory to glory, that you have come and spent time in his presence, I declare that you'll never be the same in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're experiencing the power of God in your life. Beginning from today, the evidence of your coming here will show in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every challenge you came here with, we declare that it becomes a testimony in the name of Jesus. We bless you with fresh hunger for God, fresh hunger for the things of the Spirit. May you go back and experience the honor of God upon your life in unprecedented dimensions. If you have been running, go and begin to fly. In the name of Jesus, you will move at the pace of the Spirit. There's no limitation upon your life. We bless you. We release upon you the blessings of this house. Let everything you do and touch prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Now, we we'll just request you to do just one thing before you come back to your seat. Um, there are people who will welcome you more warmly, will have your details and will communicate just a few messages to you and you'll be back to your seat. Thank you very much. I just wanted to follow the lady waving her hands. They'll have your details very briefly and then you'll be back to your seat. Can you celebrate them, Koinonia? Thank you so, so much. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof 
if you attend to these words as well, that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.